science and industry is a fantastic place to host this third summer school of our network. The event was very nice. The food was uh, actually <laughs> great and uh, the speakers uh, were actually very um, surprising with the remarks and very insightful discussions. It's been particularly interesting to be running the school in uh, the Mosey Museum where we've got the Manchester baby downstairs. You just realise that what we're talking about in the summer school is at a sort of similar era for putting personalised health together as when they constructed that machine back in 1948. I think that's quite a special feeling. There were a few of us down there talking to the volunteers who rebuilt the baby and you just get this sense that wow that has led to the sort of thing we're hoping to be able to do with personalised health and we've been hearing all about the different techniques that will be needed for that. We have an unprecedented ability now to collect molecular data about the health state of a person or even just digital data about that describe the, the health state of a person. Machine learning is how we deal with the data which is totally beyond human comprehension to, to, to understand, to, anal to analyze, to get any result from there because it's just a matrix, it's all numbers, you cannot make decisions just based on your raw eyes. I think the, the issue is, is that biology is really, really, really complex. I think we don't really like always appreciate that, especially as data scientists. To make sense, to make use of this wealth of data, we need machine learning. We need technologies that find patterns, correlations, statistical dependencies, in short, interesting insight, new knowledge in these large volumes of data. Conventionally, people use clinical information only to deal with cancer patients. And it's largely depending on the doctor's experience on dealing with hundreds of patients with similar, uh, similar situation. If we consider something like clinical intuition, where a doctor has an intuition about what a diagnosis is, that he can't actually really explain, but he still tries to provide an explanation, a mechanistic explanation. That sort of intuition is built up by a deal of experience looking at patients in the past. The sort of systems we'll be able to build will look at patients on a population scale and build an internalized clinical intuition. But when it comes to justifying the decisions those systems were making, we have to be very careful that we understand on what basis they're being made and where they can go wrong. And this requires new approaches to communicating the results of machine learning and new development of methodologies within machine learning. The farthest that we can go with machine learning is try to provide a, a doctor a useful a set of results or, or whatever you, you call it and then the doctor is the, the one that should uh, finally decide with his or her knowledge uh, on what to do. The importance of automating the analysis of data so it can be done at scale to help patients get the right sort of treatment and interfacing with the doctor as well. And these are domains that are new to machine learning so how we interface well with clinicians um, we really need to work in a very interdisciplinary way and that's really come out of the summer school, I think. Machine learning is uh, about helping the doctors decide and have a better information at hand so that they can give better diagnosis and uh, uh, treatments. How can machine learning affect personalised medicine is uh, the key question. I think what we're seeing is the need for um, a large interdisciplinary group of people to work together. The different communities that our members of the ITN uh, come from are now growing together here in the network. They, they are actually treating patients in the hospital using the techniques a lot of people in the institute are yeah. developing. I see steps forward every year. So we, we've been meeting in different formats since 2010 and now five years later I really see that a new field is emerging that we are combining machine learning with more clinically oriented uh, fields of research, in particular with statistical genetics. I'm very excited and very thrilled about this development.